President Muhammadu Buhari has been urged to assent to the draft policy and proposed legislation aimed at protecting civilians during armed conflict. Executive Director, Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, CISLAC, Awal Musa of Sanjani, made the call at a media party in Abuja on rethinking and conversing for a national policy on protection of civilian and civil harm mitigation in armed conflict, organized by the organization in collaboration with Center for Civilians in Conflict, CIVIC. Rev. Sanjani, who stated that human security is fundamental to protection of lives and properties, made case for adoption of a legal framework that will protect the people from conflicts. He added that the gesture will allow adequate accountability mechanism that will further push external agencies to regulate the use of discretionary power. When you have the rules set out and the process is clearer to the people in the field, then you will be able to mitigate this. But when you just leave it at the discretionary um, level of access to use any weapons on the citizens, I think that is also not going to be um, good and mistrust will continue to happen. We've seen how many communities, so many communities in Nigeria, as a result of this discretionary you know, um, attitude that some people have, they use any force in the name of uh, quelling or dispersing you know, um, protests by the citizens. If this is uh, signed, we would have the full weight uh, of our support and of course of the government of Nigeria to ensure that not just this, but other policies, laws, and of course other protocols that have been signed by Nigeria would align with the protection of civilian policy in trying to protect civilians in whatever part of Nigeria. Speakers at the interactive session who stated that the policy would strengthen the protection of civilians in Nigeria further gave reasons why it should be signed into law. If the president mentions this at the global level at the UN General Assembly in his speech, that by the time we come home, there are going to be some political infrastructure that will be collapsed towards ensuring that this particular uh, policy see the light of the day. But the Senate has been a little bit of a bit of a challenge. And it is important that we also use the bigger space as an opportunity to be able to get the Senate to be part of the advocacy. Simple thing as psychological trauma. Some civilians are not used to the sound of gunfire. When they hear gunfire or when they see blood, they are no longer the same. Are there plans to have psychosocial support for them in the aftermath of security operations? Those simple things are what constitute protection of civilians. Major highlight of the ceremony was confirmment of an award of excellence on the executive director of CISLAG, Awo Muser of Sanjani, for his contributions as an advocate for the protection of civilians. Palang Booker, CNA News.